Okay, today is day 19 of the winter camp and um, I'm here quite early so I've decided to sort of uh, document what I've been doing in this winter camp. Um, I feel that the camp has been very very successful because the uh, students managed to um, produce some really fluent English which I'm very very happy about and I think that the um, writing down the sounds of the song in Ingle uh, which is a combination of English and uh, Hangul so in other words English in the Korean alphabet I think that that has helped enormously so now I'm going to um, just show you uh, the whiteboard and some of the pictures and so on that the students have drawn. Um, okay, so let's start with the whiteboard. Okay, so if you look at it from a distance, you can just can't see very clearly, but um, basically there are four columns. On the far left is Korean. Uh, in the middle to the left is Ingul. In the middle to the right is English. And on the far right are pictures. So let's take a closer look at each column. Okay. Here is the far left column. Um, okay, this is the third verse of uh, Blowing in the Wind. This is the Korean tr uh, translation. So w it reads as follows Han Saram and Hano O Bol Su It Gi. I don't know if that's it. Uh, Korn e mo ma na yol bon ol yo na bwa ya ba nin ga. Okay, so uh, I don't get all the meanings. Han saram. Han saram. It's like one man. Um, uh, bois is C. So anyway, <laughs> that's about all that I get of the Korean, except uh, of course Olma, Olmana. So one man, how many times C? Uh, and somewhere in here is obviously the word for sky. But basically, this is uh, the phrase. How many times? Um, how many times must a man look up before he can really see the sky? And that is this part. Okay. Now here is the angle where um, actually the letters are literally reflecting English because Korean is a phonetic language, so you can write English in Korean. So this is how many times must a man look up before he can see the sky okay and actually that is you know if you sing it a few times um, it the students actually do pronounce it fluently how many times must a man look up before he can see the sky because this is just like a guide to help them to remember the sounds here is the English how many times must a man look up before he can see the sky and in the last column there is a picture uh, first of a man looking up the meaning of sky which is Hanul the meaning of look up, which is 
Olio da Boda. Okay. So basically all the students have written this in their books. Let's go take a look at their books. Okay, so in their books they've copied this down and some students have been very inventive with their pictures. So let's take a look at one book here. Oh yes, this is excellent. Okay. The same line, okay. Uh, okay, let's do how many times can a man um, how many times must a man look out before he can see the sky? So let's follow to the far left. Here is the Korean. Here is the Ingle. Here is English, the target language. And you can see like here is a spelling mistake. But I'm not worried about that because this is not spelling class, this is singing class. So I don't care if they make mistakes and I'm not marking their books as long as they can sort of like sing it. That's cool. Okay. And here they've drawn the picture. And actually, um, this has helped them memorize the songs. And actually, I'm quite amazed at the results and I'm very, very happy. Even students who find it really hard to read are now able to like read the angle. So I think it's really cool. Okay, bye. <laughs>